Alright, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and I know a lot of y'all have been asking for this, how to have units respawn just immediately once they're wiped out, not necessarily have waves, uh, but just have things that are indefinitely respawning, it doesn't matter uh, you know how many times you kill them, they just keep respawning, so that's what I'm going to be showing y'all today. Uh, we'll go ahead and like, as you could tell, I'm over here just killing these guys getting some getting some fantastic kills and then boom once you kill the last one then all of them respawn now case if you're wondering why aren't you dying right now that's because of the fact that i actually have deathless on so that way i could just sit here and kill these guys over and over and over and over and over and over and then they just keep respawning in over and over <laughs> you can have so many grunts look at all the grunt bodies Look at all the grunt bodies. Oh, fantastic. Hey, don't run towards me. You're supposed to run towards your friend whenever you uh, get stuck. <laughs> not me. Uh, that's not very nice to run towards me. So in case you're also wondering, this is the map I'm making, a racetrack that I'm currently making right now. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and do it on this. We were on stream and Artifice came in and Artifice is another genius with scripting. And so he came in and was like, you know, and I asked him some questions. So how can you make it to where they are just consistently respawning after they die? Um, you know, after all of them die. I can't necessarily figure all this type of stuff out on my own. Uh, but I do want to share it with the community. So Artifice was the one that was actually able to uh, figure this one out for me. Uh, so yeah, it, it's fantastic. And I do that over on my stream. Uh, my stream is twitch.tv slash Duquesne23. If you do want to check that out. Just go ahead and click the link in the description. Follow me on there. Most every day I stream and we are building Forge maps and then also trying to figure some things out in scripting and stuff. If we can, if we have someone there that's real smart, we figure it out and then I can make it into a video like what I'm doing now. So uh, the first thing you're going to need to do, of course, is set down yourself your spawner. Whatever you want to have spawn on there you set your spawner down uh and i just this is the one that i have where there's tons of grunts on this entire thing and of course you set these on here make sure again you have it labeled as triggered by script you need to turn that on for it to actually work and what we found with the way that we did this make sure your squad label on here is on like remember what it's actually on you could change it to whatever you want but remember what it's on i'm just going to keep mine defaultly on alpha uh, so, you know, that way we can go ahead and use the alpha uh, squad label there. Now, in case if you do want to know how in the world do I have it to where, you know, I have deathless, you just go over into the tool settings. Now, I noticed some people don't know how to get to this. You hit X on a uh, keyboard. I mean, X, uh, not on a keyboard, on a controller. And on a keyboard, you hit R. And then you just go all the way over. Um, to the tool settings and you scroll down you'll see a deal called AI and say deathless that basically makes it to where your player is deathless on there uh, so you can't you be touched you know you can't be touched uh, and get killed by them or well, I guess you could be touched but you can't be killed by them so you can actually just kind of test things out uh, just to make sure to see if they're working on there so uh, yeah so now let's go ahead after you go ahead and place this you know place your spawners down or something um, you go ahead and hit in on your mouse and keyboard to go into a uh, the node graph or you hold down Y with the controller. Now, I noticed a lot of people were wondering on here, remember with the build menu, in order for it to have uh, AI spawn, you do have to generate the nav mesh here. I've already done that. Uh, I noticed some people have been asking, well, I don't have a build menu here whenever I hold down Y. That's because you're on a dev made map. Uh, dev made maps does not have the build menu, so you have to be on a forge canvas uh, you know to be able to do this um, but you know if you are on, on controller hold down Y and then go up to no graph right there and as you can see we are in the no graph and this is it this is it this is all you have to do right here uh, to be able to have them indefinitely spawn just they just keep going and keep going keep going now I only have one spawner on here for the object reference you can have up to four on one object list. Now, remember in the last video, I said that you can have more than one object list and then you have an object list combiner and that combines it into one. So you can really just, you know, flood this with a whole bunch of stuff here so you can have a bunch of them and everything if you want to. Um, but yeah, so pretty much you have your ob object reference right here. Um, go into the object list, go into the wave, uh, 
you know, node here. Now, case if you're wondering on how to get to, um, uh, like how to spawn any of these in right here, like any of these nodes, uh, you hit R on your um, keyboard and or you hit X on the controller and you go into the node browser right here and then this is where you find out a lot of the different stuff here. Uh, you go into the AI waves, that's where you find the wave manager, that's this one right here. Uh, then here's the wave one right here, that's this one right here. And then the wave options is right here and that's this one right here. So the wave options you need to be able to have for extermination percentage at 100%. It, that means it will spawn more um, once they kill them 100%. If you only want 50% of the enemies uh, to be killed whenever you want to spawn another one, just put that at 50 uh, right there instead of 100. Uh, delay spawn until budget equals true. And I would say with this you probably don't want to have incoming messages and outgoing messages that's the one where it says uh like there's two enemies remaining or anything like that or the incoming message is like a, you know uh new sp i forget exactly what it says but it's basically like you know new enemies are coming in and stuff and <laughs> if you're gonna have a lot of enemies spawning in and stuff that could get kind of annoying so i would suggest turning that off if you want to on there so always have the gameplay start on gameplay start now on gameplay start is the events and it's right here on gameplay start you can have on game start there's this is a lot of the events you know on round start uh, and a lot of different events i just do on gameplay start you connect that into the wave manager this is pretty basic of like what we did previously for the waves uh for like the firefight style waves here uh, the difference is with this one instead of connecting this wave into the wave manager you want to connect it into a declare wave variable now to be able to find those in here remember uh you just go over on the you know mouse and keyboard you're going to hit r and or you're going to hit x on the controller and you're going to scroll all the way down until you see variables you're going to go into variables advanced and that's where you find the declare things here so declare wave variable you're just going to scroll down until you find that and here it is right here you're going to spawn that one in uh for right there and i'm just going to tell you where this one the get wave variable is just a little bit farther down uh, you just scroll farther down and right here is a get wave variable right there. So these are both in the variable advanced uh, right here. So you're going to connect the wave to this initial variable value uh, right here. And the identifier, you just name the identifier whatever you want. The whole thing is, is this is how it connects with these. And so you just name it. I can name it Bob if I want to. I just named it Duquesne just because. And then you same thing with this one. You click on the get wave variable one here. Uh, and it, hold on one second. There we go. And you just name that one the same thing. Uh, you got to make sure you name them the same thing here. And then also you make sure you change the scope of both of them to global. Uh, that will be a global scope. This one global scope right there. And there we go. And you're going to connect this get wave variable right here in the wave uh, right there and then here's this get wave variable right here so this is basically like this is kind of sending into the wave manager over here uh so on squad spawned with squad label uh you're gonna want to head go ahead and spawn in one of those you go into your menus again hitting r or you hit x on the controller and this one is uh on squad spawned with squad label now this one i need to remember where this is i believe it's events ai yeah on squad arrival so no on squad spawned with squad label there it is right there in the events ai that's the one that you're going to find events ai on squad spawned with spot squad label and you're just going to spawn that one in and this is that label alpha so if you do decide to change your label to bravo or charlie or something like that make sure you change this also to whatever you had on there uh, so I had it as alpha so I will change mine to alpha so pretty much this just makes it uh, where you know once this wave is over and it'll s pretty much start and just spawn in another one now there's probably ways you can delay this using um, the uh, the wait for a you know certain amount of time and stuff like that but I just wanted to keep this very basic very beginner-esque uh, so everyone can go ahead and do this and uh, 
you know make this and then you can expand upon it as much as you want there's some other things i do want to say make sure y'all do have settings in this add wave manager here and here make sure you set the wave manager to default if you keep that uh empty it will not work the script will not run so make sure you also set that to default right there uh, but overall, yeah, and same thing, all, oh, the wave type up here. Yeah, make sure you also set that to default and duration seconds have that zero. Like you have to make sure these things are set like this default. Uh, it's got to be set there like that or else it actually will not work. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's fairly simple. Of course, I couldn't necessarily figure it out. Artifice helped me figure it out, especially getting this. Um, and it, so, yeah, it's fairly simple and it is a lot of fun. Uh, to be able to do to have a ridiculous amount of grunts just spawning and I could of course added even more spawners in here to have even more grunts but of course I didn't worry about doing that there uh, this is just a map that I just wanted to have some fun with uh, and while I was making my racetrack I was like yeah let's go ahead and figure this out and so artifice came in and helped me out there so again thank y'all everyone for coming out if you do want to um uh it, like if you do want to have some help with some other type of scripting or anything like that uh be sure to leave a comment down below off of what you want to be able to see and you know i can definitely talk with some you know those smart scripters and everything like that uh and then i can get out here to the community and so we can go ahead and spread the love and make sure everyone is able to create all the maps that they want to create uh so thank y'all everyone for coming out i really appreciate it um if you like this video leave a comment subscribe if you haven't already for more uh halo infinite forge tutorials and i will see y'all next time and remember let's forge a new halo